back this month. <laughs> it's Porktober. We're so distracted by all this wonderful food. A great way to celebrate pork at the dinner table. And we're excited to have joining us in our CI kitchen to share the many ways you can enjoy pork from the University of Illinois, Brandon Clem, a meat science instructor. Thanks for coming in today. Always excited to be here. So pork, the other white meat, yes. celebrating it this month. <laughs> exactly. It is Porktober, like you guys have said, National Pork Month. Uh, always excited to come in, talk with consumers, students. We've been going on about in class uh, this week and last, uh, different ways we can utilize pork uh, cuts, different ways we can add flavor, excitement to it. Uh, pork's new slogan, other than the other white meat, is be inspired. Pork is a really great kind of uh, white backboard that you can add whatever you want to it, whether it be a brine solution, seasonings, I mean, whatever you want to do, pork is really great to take that in and make it your own kind oh. of creation. Cool. Now, I love grilling, uh, yes. and actually pork is something that I've come to really enjoy doing, but I feel like it's more difficult than some of the other meats to cook. Is that really true or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's everyone. I mean, uh, pork can be diverse in how you're looking to make a product. Um, uh, whether it's just taking something, throwing it on the grill, uh, or really trying to make stir fry, make something that's really high end. Uh, I mean, pork is uh, very uh, wide in its range of what you can do with it, but uh, some dishes are way more challenging. I can't uh, say that I'm a top chef, and so I stick with my pork on the grill, pork chop, anything like that. But yeah, well, what do we have here? Because you mentioned yes. lots of different cuts and ways to prepare it. So yes. what it, what is this called? So this is our pork loin. Okay. Um, it, it's a little bit bigger than you might see in the, your retail case in your grocery store. Uh, we're going to cut it up yeah. uh, and, and have some different ways you can uh, take this product and, and make a variety of options from it. Uh, a lot of our other pork cuts are, are too big to really cut and bring here. Um, but Bigger than this? Uh, uh, your ham, your Boston oh, butt, I see. Okay, sure. uh, and, and of course everyone's favorite, the belly, which will eventually turn into bacon. Oh, uh, my yep. favorite. So my favorite. we can't do all of that here, even though I wish we could. But for today, I brought our pork loin in and just to cut up a couple pieces. Yeah. Uh, and, and so what you might find at your retail uh, store, if, if it's this whole cut right here, you can definitely buy that. And there's a lot to do with it other than just making pork chops out of it. One that we like to do, and another thing you might find at your retail case, is the front end of your pork loin. How which did has, you know that was the front? So we, <laughs> good question, great question. I don't see a face at all. <laughs> So we have actually kind of two muscles here. Uh, this is your main muscle, uh, and then we have a side muscle that comes up over the top. Uh, it's a very tender and uh, juicy cut that we leave on to just increase the eating experience. And so if you find this smaller roast uh, in a case, it'll probably be called a chef's prime. Oh. And so with this, it's great just as a roast. Uh, but what we like to do, especially my family, uh, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, is we're going to take it and we're actually going to spiral it out. Uh, and then put seasoning, stuffing in it, and then roll it back up. And can again, you can you show us what spiral it out? Sure. Means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and give Sound. that a shot. I oh, bet your <laughs> mother-in-law loves you at Thanksgiving because you just probably get to do all the work, right? Well, I, I definitely try to lend a hand wherever it's needed. <laughs> um, but anything like this, uh, where we're gonna really spread that out. Uh, it's a little bit thicker maybe than some people want. It just depends on what they're looking to get. But you put array of spices, um, stuffing, like I said, anything like that in there. And then again, we're just going to roll it back up uh, like it originally was. Wow. And then tie it up and put it in a crock pot on the grill in an indirect heat setting in the oven, whatever you might want to I feel like you made that have. way more simple than it actually would <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm going to guess a knife. A good knife is probably key, a too. A great yes. knife is always key and, and sharpening. But that's a whole other topic. I'm sure of it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. That I can always come back and talk about. Well, we would right. love so that. So what, what can we do with the rest of this now? Other so than the rest of this. Fill? Yes. Uh, so the other end, uh, which is going to be uh, where our sirloin cut came off, uh, uh, we're going to take this and, again, another great roast uh, that you can probably find in your retail case. Um, but outside of just using it as a roast, this end I like to use for a little bit more uh, kebabs, stir fry. It's, it's a good cut to... Uh, cut up into smaller pieces uh, that you might want to use for any kind of different dishes like that. Don't know that I've ever had pork kebabs. That no? Sounds amazing. I do. So pork kebabs, I mean, just take little squares. I'll cut just a couple up just to give an example. Any kind of your favorite vegetables, put okay. it on a skewer. So you're doing that here for us, but if we came to the meat science lab, yes. would you guys do it for us there too? Oh, if we yes. we said, hey, can you cut this for kebabs? Or for sure. Uh, spiralize this for yeah. me? We spiralize. aim... You're making up words now. <laughs> <laughs> we aim to please there. Uh, we have a bunch of students uh, that work in the meat lab to uh, learn these different uh, cutting skills uh, and the trade of uh, 
more or less a knife manship and, and working in a butcher shop. Nice. Um, and we are open Tuesday, Thursday from 1 to 5 p.m. and Friday from 8 to noon. Okay, right. well, you stick around. Yes. Keep We're going to find out a little bit more about how to cook it properly because yes. that's very sure important thing. I know with pork. Because uh, you got to have a, one of these, I'm guessing. And the meat yes. thermometer, so, we'll very, very important. <laughs> hey, in the meantime, we will connect you with everything happening there at CILiving.tv.